Hey, welcome back to another video. Taylor and I spent the morning finishing up some stain. Well, actually doing some more staining. We're not finished with that project yet. And we have a really cool opportunity this afternoon to go on a management hunt for a Sika hind. So Taylor and I are gonna have some crossbows and we're gonna both see if we can shoot a Sika hind. Yeah, all camoed out, ready to go. I gotta grab Taylor a camo hat and then. My wife is turning into quite the hunter. Mighty hunter. <laughs> I almost forgot my knife, which I haven't used in a while, but I put it in our truck just in case we were to go hunting. If anything, it'll be Taylor and I hanging out in a tree stand together, which will be fun. Hey Wes. What's up? In your words, how would you describe a Sika? Like a marsh goat. A marsh goat? Yep. What is a Sika? A Sika is an Asian elk. Did they come from Asia? They did originally. They were brought over in like the 30s or 40s. I believe nine of them were originally brought over. And then uh, they were released on an island and they were able to swim. And the island was in the Chesapeake here. And they swam across and they're in three counties. 10 point wicked ridge is what we got here. Um, I'm gonna give you a crossbow. A cocking device in the frame go all the way down make sure your toes in kind of a 45 and you want to make sure these hooks are tight to the rail you don't want one floating out here and then as you pull up you want to pull up parallel or even just a, a hair back from the rail you don't want to be pulling out see how I'm pulling the string off the, mm -hmm. it'll go over top of this and it doesn't cock so nice and easy just stand up click uh, you want lower third right behind the shoulder and preferably quartering away. So I'm clear, my fingers are underneath the wings. Lower third. So start from the top and work your way down. So you split, oh, yeah, split yeah, the yeah. hooks at the frame. I forgot. Yeah, and I like to use my, my middle fingers because they're the longest and kind of push them in tight and then, then get a little tension. Uh, that way you don't have a little bit, like if this is over, what it does is it kind of torques the bow a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, as the string comes back, then come back quite as even. Does that look good? That looks awesome. Oh, all right, now back down. And here's something else that I see. Uh, it pops off like it just did. And remember, parallel, if anything, go back just a hair and then just stand up and pull your chest. Perfect. Slide your fingers so you're about three inches from the tip of that bolt. The tip, yep. Without grabbing the tip, perfect. And then that's going to make it so your fingers never go. The more points of contact you can get, the better. Nice. Good shot. Put it to the side. Okay. So it's not jabbing you in the guts. <laughs> and then straighten your butt just a little bit. There you go. And then, yep. Stand up and then pull up to your chest. Almost there. <coughs> Come on. Is that it? Hair, hair more. There you go. Is that it? Yep. yep. Hold on. It's stuck on the thing. Hold on one second. Just stay right there. Okay. All right, do it again. Big pull, there you go. Okay. Nice. Oh, that's harder than that. <laughs> yep. that. Perfect, yep, you just wanna make sure it's snug. And, and reach in that groove instead of trying, cause there will be razor blades on that. I'm not saying that you're gonna grab the razor blade, but it's something to get it. Okay. So you're on safe, it'll be a way for fire. Yeah, you look, <laughs> that looks fine. Um, I had to pull this what, elbow off. Cause whatever they're... you're comfortable doing, if, if you can get both elbows onto the, your knees, that's awesome. The hole, like when you look through the scope and it's, if there's black in it, it might be because you're too close to the scope. Okay. You want to back up, back your face up just a little bit. Nice. Is that good? That's not bad. <laughs> it's a little bit forward, but it's not bad. Okay. Um, and your center mass, I'd actually, for both of you guys, would like, like you to be lower third. So huh. when you split that one more time, 
where that's at. So split that in half and that's pump station. Either a perfectly broadside shot, which is, you know, when your deer's standing like it is kind of the way we're shooting, or quartering away with its rear end a little bit towards you.